Hi guys, your lesson today is on lines, line segments, and rays. Our lesson objectives are I can identify line segments, lines, rays, and points. I can draw line segments, lines, rays, and points. And I can use letter and symbol notation to name lines, line segments, rays, and points. So in geometry, you have seen these before. We can uh, classify points, line segments, lines, and rays. They're all geometric figures, but kind of think of them like royalty, like a king and a queen and a prince and a princess. Um, they all are part of the same family, but they all have a different job. So we're going to talk more about starting with points today. So a point is just that. It's one spot in space. You can think of it like the eraser on your pencil, or maybe the tip of your pencil. And how points are named, if we wanted to name that point, we would name it with one capital letter. In this case, let's call it point A. Sometimes you can have more than one point. And when you have two points, such as here and here, you can connect them with a straight edge like a ruler. And what you end up with is a line segment. A line segment is part of a line. It has endpoints, such as here and here. And I like to think of it as if there was a road, it would be a piece of the road, like maybe between a stop sign and the next stop sign down the road. It's just a little piece of that road because the road goes on and on and on and on forever. We can name line segments with two letters. So this line segment, I have named the endpoints. This is endpoint U. This is endpoint P. One way I can name this line segment is by saying line segment UP. I can also name it by saying line segment PU. So I can say it in both directions. Sometimes I get lazy. And lazy is okay in math, as long as you're lazy the right way. We can also write this shorthand. So instead of actually writing out line segment UP and line segment PU, we can write shorthand by writing the two letters, U, P, and then actually putting the line segment over the top of it. See that little line right there? This is math notation, meaning line segment U, P. Likewise, this is math notation for line segment P, U. Sometimes you can have another point on your line segment and then all of a sudden you get all sorts of different names. Here are some ways that you could name it. You could name it line segment UC from U to C, line segment CP, line segment UP. You can also name it the other way, line segment PC, line segment CU, line segment PU. Never, never, never let name a line segment with more than, one, than two letters. Always use two letters for line segments. Here's the shorthand on how to name that line segment. So line segments are part of a line, and lines actually go on and on and on and on and on and on forever. It's infinity and they never end. Roads can be considered like this because roads go on and on and on and on and on and on forever, although you could argue with me that they do end at some point. We also name lines with two letters, just like line segments. Notice at this time we have arrows on either end. We don't have the endpoints anymore because lines go on and on forever. I've named my line UP. I could also say PU because it goes on and on forever in both directions. You can name it both ways. If I want to be lazy and use math notation, I simply write my two letters and then draw the line above it. So I would say line UP, line PU. Sometimes I also have another point on my line. You can name it once again with the two letters, just like we did with the line segments. Line UC, line CP, line UP, or line PC, line CU, line PU.
Sometimes it's kind of fun to see how many combinations you can come up with. If I wanted to do math notation shorthand, you can see once again I have listed my two letters, always my two letters, with my line above the top. Finally, let's talk about rays. Rays are kind of the oddball. They go on and on forever only in one direction, and I like to think of them like a bow and arrow. If you've ever seen a bow and arrow before that, like Cupid shoots, he shoots it and it only goes one direction. It can't go the other direction at all. So rays are really important to think about when you're naming them because they only go one direction. And you have to name it going in the direction that it's going forever. Here's an example. I have two things written on here. I have ray UP and ray PU. Here's our endpoint P, meaning that this is where the ray starts and it goes in the direction of U forever and ever and ever. How would I name that? If you said ray PU, you would be correct. I have to name it from where I'm starting to where I'm going. If I wanted to write shorthand, I am going to first type the letter or write the letter where I'm starting, which is endpoint P, and to where I'm going, which is U. Now watch how I draw my notation. I'm starting at the letter P and going to the letter U. So I would start my ray for shorthand at the letter P and draw it to letter U. That can be a little tricky for kids because they think it has to be the other direction. I'm going to make this a little bigger so you can see it. That's too big. So even though the ray physically is going from left to, or from right to left, notice that when I did the notation, I did the endpoint first, P, that's where it's starting, and it's going to U. So that's where the arrow ends up. Here's another example. This time my ray is reversed and I have an endpoint U going to P. So this time I would start my ray for shorthand above the letter U and draw it to P. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I can also have another point on my ray, sometimes more points, and this would be the same thing. We would say ray UC ray CP and ray UP. So that's how you would do the shorthand. Alright, that wraps it up. We'll see you later.